What if I told you about a herbicide you could spray the weeds in your lawn with and you could do your entire lawn for less than one dollar? That's what I'm going to tell you about in this video. Less than one dollar. I'm going to show you the math on my phone. I'm going to show you the herbicide and I'm going to tell you why I'm using this and why a lot of lawn care professionals are using this very same herbicide on their lawn care applications. This is the herbicide. This is called Manor. Now it's going to come under different label names. You'll look here at the active ingredient there and you see metzofuron, metzofuron methyl. My understanding of this is when it came out years ago, it was actually quite expensive herbicide, but like a lot of herbicides, once the patent wears off and it becomes a generic formula, then a lot of people start manufacturing it and the price drops dramatically. So let me just give you an example. We see here eight ounces in this particular bottle and you can buy a bottle of eight ounces of metzofuron right now on Amazon. I'll put the link at the time of this video. It's like $45 and something you look at the link in the description of the video so i'm just going to round up to 50 dollars, and i'm going to show you the math on this and then i'm going to talk to you about some of the weeds that it does control before i do that i want to thank our sponsor of this video gram spray equipment i use a gram spray rig for my weed control and fertilization business if you're looking for a spray rig for your business and go to gramse.com or give those guys a call all right so let me do a little bit of math on my phone i'm going to show you the math and just show you how cheap this product actually is when you apply it the way I'm doing. And it's actually extremely effective. Now I'm gonna share with you some cautions about this product as well, so stay with me. So here we go, got my phone out. Sorry about the reflection here. So let's just say that it's 50 bucks, okay? So I'm gonna put 50 in there. And that's for how much? Eight ounces, 50 bucks. Now it's actually, like I said, on time of this video on Amazon, $45 and some change, but plus tax, you know, let's just round up to 50. You're gonna divide that by eight. So that should give us the price per ounce. Okay, so we're looking at, at 50 bucks, you're looking at $6.25 per ounce. So how much do I spray on a lawn? Well, I use this particular product at a very low rate of a quarter of an ounce per acre. Okay, so let me say it again, one quarter of an ounce per acre so it goes a really long way so you think about that a quarter of an ounce per acre so each each ounce is going to cover four acres that means this bottle would cover 32 acres so for for 45 bucks so i mean that's pretty cheap all right let me show you the math part on my phone to show you just how cheap this is so again i said you could buy this at the time of this video for 45 dollars or something now the product that it is showing is msm turf but it's the same active ingredient metzofuron and it is uh, 45 dollars and some change for eight ounces but let's round up to 50 dollars. so we got 50 dollars. i'm gonna put 50 in my phone Okay, and that's for what? That is for eight ounces. So I'm gonna divide that by eight. And that means that I'm basically at $50, which again is actually a little higher than it actually costs, is $6.25 per ounce, okay? 6.25 per ounce. Now, what is my rate? I'm putting in a quarter of an ounce per acre, okay? That's the rate I'm applying this. So I'm gonna multiply that by 0.25. You can also divide by four, it gives you the same thing. So for every acre, it's costing me $1.56. All right, that's for an acre. So if you have an acre yard, $1.56. Now, most people don't live on an acre. Let's say you, you wanna know what it costs per thousand square feet. I'm gonna divide that by 43.56 because there's 43, 1,560 square feet in an acre. And what does it come out to? That's what you're paying for every thousand square feet. You're paying three and a half cents. You wanna round up 3.6 cents for every thousand square feet. So what does that mean? If your yard is 10,000 square feet, you're paying 36 cents to spray a 10,000 square foot lawn. Now tell me if my math's wrong, you guys double check me, but I think that's correct. Now, before you just get all too excited and think, well, I can spray a 10,000 square foot lawn for 36 cents, and that's true. I mean, I don't think I'm making that up. That is what it costs. Now, to make it more effective, we do add surfactant to the tank. So I'm just gonna mix up 100 gallons on this small side of my tank and I put two pints of surfactant in there. The surfactant's not expensive, but it does have a cost to it as well. You could use it without the surfactant, but it's gonna be more effective with the surfactant. And so if you just wanna go out there and just kill a bunch of existing weeds, you put this in there and, and super dirt cheap. Now for me to make a, a really, really dirt cheap application, and this is what I'm actually doing on 
on my own grass okay i've got bermuda grass and this is what i'm going to spray on my own lawn is i'm going to put another product in here called prodiamine let me show it to you now this is the one i use this is Rev resolute 65 wg you'll see the active ingredient prodiamine and uh, i have this blue measuring cup so i'm going to put this in there at 0.85 pounds per acre now this is a five pound jug this is going up i think on amazon this is like over 100 bucks a little over 100 bucks but again i'm using 0.85 pounds per acre and you know, it's a five pound jug so you, you get it it's not that expensive per the amount of a normal yard any of us with a lawn business we go out there spray one yard it's not a very expensive product and i get it I, I buy my stuff from from a company called harold's and i think i get it a little bit cheaper than what you're going to pay on amazon but what does this product do well the prodiamine is what i'm spraying early in the year and i want to get this down before the crabgrass and other warm season weeds germinate so me living in the birmingham alabama market i'm trying to spray this january and february try to get all my lawns sprayed before the end of february because sometimes we have a warm february crabgrass will start to germinate in february in our area now you live in a warmer climate you might even get it sprayed earlier than that if you live in a cooler climate then uh, you may have a little bit more time but i'm going to mix this together on my own yard 0.85 pounds per thousand square feet of this and i'm going to mix it with a quarter ounce per acre of the manor which again is practically free it's so cheap it's not free but it's extremely inexpensive and so the manor will help control some existing weeds it's a great product the metzofiron that is is great for uh, wild onions wild garlic but it'll also control just a whole lot of broadleaf weeds in your lawn this product is not uh, to be used on your cool season grasses so sorry about that guys um, now the prodiamine you can use it on warm season grasses and cool season grasses and again this is going to do a great job of getting ahead of a lot of those warm season weeds particularly crabgrass so when i mix these two together i've got a combination that yes, the combination is gonna cost more than 36 cents, but still a relatively inexpensive products that are gonna do a great job. When I talk to people about their lawn care, you know, I, I wish all my potential new customers would call me in January because I wanna get these two products down and before the crabgrass germinates, things like that. If I can get the prodiamine down, that's just gonna do great and then this year what i'm doing for my actual customers i do use uh, the metzofiron i'm also mixing in another product called change up which uh, is a little bit more expensive product but i'm using it at the low rate of 12 ounces per acre so that's what i'm going out spraying bermuda and zoysia lawns with but again on my yard i got a big yard a lot of areas probably three acres of, of turf grass and so i'm going to spray i'm going to leave the change up out just for some cost savings i can go back and spot treat weeds later if needed to but i'm hoping this combination will do a great job keeping the weeds out i want to show you real quick again the math on my phone here how we calculate how much of this to actually put in the tank and i also want to give you a, a little bit of a warning for the metzofuron not a little bit of warning a lot of a warning the metzofuron my understanding is a product that was used in forestry to help basically kill trees okay so you, you you need to obviously when you're dealing with chemicals wear your ppe and then also use common sense and follow the label so sometimes people just that are uneducated on these kind of things they think of a little bit of a, a chemical is great a little bit of herbicide is effective then a lot must be really effective and that's really a bad way to look at it and so when i'm using a quarter ounce per acre you can actually go up to uh, double that rate on a, on your lawn but in my experience i just don't think that is necessary most of the time let me say also that it's going to be a slow product to work you're probably not going to see results especially if you spray an onion something like that wild garlic it may be very very slow and with these cooler temperatures uh, not going to see fast results now when you mix change up in there you're going to get a lot faster results on a lot of your broadleaf weeds this product can be used at higher rates to kill oak trees and things like that and so you want to be careful and use the low rate don't go in there and just start spraying over and over again again i'm not going to spray this you know five or six times a year on my lawn i'm going to be using it sparingly i'm using it at a very very low rate and you don't want to just estimate how much to put in the tank so if you don't understand calibration that you can after this video you can watch a video just search for lawn care life calibration there's a detailed video on how to calibrate your sprayer and what we're going to do is figure out basically how much water i'm spraying out of this hose per thousand square feet now for me based on my walking speed and how i've got my sprayer set up i'm spraying two gallons per thousand square feet 
Now, at that point, you gotta figure out how much water's in the tank, and this is, I'm gonna show you how to figure out how much chemical to put in the tank. So my tank holds 100 gallons on this small side, 300 on the big side. So let's just say I'm gonna mix up just the small side. Okay, I'm gonna put 100 gallons of water in there. You see that, 100. Now I'm gonna divide that by two, because I'm, I'm spraying two gallons per thousand square feet. And I'm gonna divide that by 43.56. So there's 43,560 square feet in an acre, okay? And so basically, at, at two gallons per thousand square feet, which is what I want, you may be, what I'm spraying, you may be different at your calibration. And with 100 gallons, I'm spraying 1.14 acres with this 100 gallons. Now, what did I say is the rate for this product? A quarter of an ounce per acre is what I'm spraying at. So I can cover 1.14 acres. All I gotta do is multiply that by 0.25. Look at there, I'm gonna put point two eight six ounces of manner in there the metsulfuron in a hundred gallons so you see this handy little measuring cup you got your uh, point two you got your uh, quarter ounce marker there i'm you know just above that and i'm gonna be at the point two eight which i measured dump that in 100 gallons of water spray it at the rate of two gallons per thousand square feet i'm gonna take that same 1.14 acres and I'm gonna multiply it by 0.85, and it's gonna tell me how many pounds of the prodiamine to put in this measuring cup. You see, I've got my measuring cup here, and at that rate, I'm gonna dump it in the tank, and I'm gonna put two pints of surfactant in there, and then have it agitated up, spray it on the lawn, get it down before the crabgrass germinates, and I've got a very effective combination to control weeds at a very cheap price, in my opinion. I'm Jason Krill, I appreciate you watching the video. If you hadn't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you wanna get in weed control and fertilization, there's a lot of resources for you over at LawnCareLife.com, including the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy, which to me is the best product I know of to have for actual training for those that are looking to get into weed control and fertilization, particularly with warm season grasses. There's also pricing charts, there's programs, what to spray on your yard, things like that, um, that can be very helpful for you if you're looking to make the jump like I did into weed control and fertilization. Appreciate you watching the video. Hope you'll click on the channel name and check out some of the other videos. Got over a thousand videos on the channel. I've been on YouTube for about 12 years at the time of this video and appreciate you guys supporting the channel. See you in the next video.